Hello everyone and welcome to mission 4 of the MAD campaign for the Apache in DCS World. This mission's entitled Preventative Blow. So the background story of this one is the insurgents that we were fighting in the previous video have managed to seize a hilltop that directly overlooks our airfield and so our little flight is being scrambled to try and take care of them. They are located within a weather observation station at the very top of the mountain, with a slight complicating factor that there are hostages within the building. Building containing hostages has been called signed Foxtrot, but there are numerous other hostiles in the area. We are being sent up with one more Apache as well as an F-16, and we are meant to engage the site, do as much damage as possible, so that a special forces team can follow up afterwards and hopefully rescue the hostages. But we do have to make sure we don't blow up the building labelled Foxtrot. So, all fairly straightforward, let's jump in and see how it went. Yesterday's fight was not the best. I think it would be wise to use the gun with I had one snare today. Hmm, thanks for appreciating my skills. No offense intended, Khalid. The better you shoot, the safer I feel. Three two. We'll work separately with the target. You attack from the south, and I'll come in from the west. Break on my command. Got it. Does Dodge Four One approach from the south? Three two four one. Roger, 4-1. Let's see what we can do with the targets next to Foxtrot. 30 Mike Mike. Well, I thought about it, but the spread is too wide. However, we've got nothing to worry about if Foxtrot has thick walls. The hostages wouldn't approve our plan. Maybe, but that's their only chance. Rotor RPM high. May the Lord help us. Let's praise the Lord, mate. Taking off. This helicopter was made for night hunts. 3-1, taking off. 3-2, circle to waypoint 1. Take up position to starboard, please. Interval 300. Three, 3-2, hold position on the right. 3-2, steep climb to 5,000 feet. Asadan, Sabre 3 group, proceed with the mission. Sabre 3-1, good luck, gentlemen. Three two, heads up. Maintain heading thirty and keep your eyes open. I'm signing to all groups. My squad is inbound. The way is clear. It's just us here. Stay focused. Three one, near Foxtrot. Commencing visual recon. Three two, enter the combat close from the south. Splitting off, coming into the combat course. Dodge group is at Fox Strut, turn 31 with already completed the recon. Any news? Roger, Dodge 4-1. 
3-2. Your targets are ACV trucks and infantry on the south side. And slave. Deslaving. Roger. The targets are ACV, trucks, and infantrymen. The southern side. Target in sight. 3-2. The man pads are mine, and then I'll come and help you. A hydro can be used to destroy the transport, Commander. Blazing. You are right, Salah. Blazers off. Avsena, groups 3-1 and 4-1 are ready to go. Attention. Save and dodge groups. Proceed to eliminate the targets. So my CPG does suggest Hydras for the APCs, but I want to use missiles for the Engaging. triple A, so fire one off there. Uh, unfortunately, as you may be able to see on the CPG site, the target isn't really very visible right now. It's barely visible over the other side of this compound. And so the missile happily flies down and smashes into the compound. I am flying on the correct course uh, from heading in from the south, but it seems it's just a bit of an awkward angle, so, so I reposition a tiny bit, target, target the other uh, ZU-33, and rifle again. Roger, engaging. And once again, unfortunately, ignores everything that it was meant to do and just slams straight into a building. And decided, since a target-rich environment, away from Laser the stock drop post, I may as well flip over to rockets and fire away. And just as I do, I get a warning. Look out! Missile! Missile! Countermeasures! So turn evasive, start flaring, and then spot this missile track coming up right from underneath me. And can just make out a couple of little dots. There's a little man pad crew down there in the valley. And so I just quickly was over to the um, gun and just start pouring fire in their general direction, uh, trying to drag the cone across them. They're just infantry, so the large cones and shells are pretty good at doing splash damage. Z23 is burning. We can get closer now. Uh, I think my wingman gets the one of these at U33s, then there's another warning. Do look around, can't really see this one, might have been from a different SAM group that is just warning that there was a missile fired. Either way, I need to try and regain my position because I'm now just downhill from the enemy base. Then do go back over to my uh, rockets, while well, at the same time my CPG does get a sight of something. Decide that I'm just going to use this key to help guide in my rockets. The man pads are destroyed. And my wing nicely clears up the last of the man pads, so that does leave us a little bit freer here to try and engage. I do struggle with the rocket pods in the Apache. It's a little bit and awkward sleep. to try and get with the, the symbology that it has. You've got to kind of steer the plane so that the I-beam is level with uh, where you are looking. And it's all just a bit of coordination to get everything right, get you looking in the right place, get the uh, helicopter pointing in the right place, and get the depression correct. But in the end, I do start firing really not too worried here about being too accurate there is just a huge number of enemies in the area and firing far enough away from the foxtrot buildings that i'm quite happy just to be spraying rockets incidentally the foxtrot building is the nav marker that is selected so you can see that is there on the left the acv is finished so I do get some decent kills there, just spraying with that lot, just saturated the area. I do take some hits as I'm pulling away, so I do try and be a bit evasive. Thankfully, I think this is just small arms fire that's coming up at me at this point. Tracking target. So I then recover target BTR-80 just to get where it is on my HUD and then start spraying some more rockets into the general vicinity of where the bad guys are.
And then with that pass, I am now dry on rockets, so you can pull away, having done quite a lot of damage to them. Uh, there's not really much left of this little township here. Then with all of that dealt with, I go back Jackie over target. to the Hellfires and fire a Hellfire off at the BTR-80. And nicely enough, it comes down, does a very impressive turn, and shack. And slave. Deslaving. Target acquired. Do you then pick out another one which I line up and try Blazing. and engage. Unfortunately I'm a bit too close and too Blazers high for off. this one so the missile doesn't quite make Engaging. it round. does get some splash damage on the target but not exactly a good shot. So I decide my best bet here is to go back over Blazing. to the gun and start spraying around. You can see Blazers multiple off. vehicles on the ground. And so do my best to target them. The uh, sight is a tiny bit off, probably because we are quite so close. Blazing. to It does get a bit awkward. Um, but spraying off. across the general area and end up doing a lot of damage. You can see a lot of our fires from the rocket passes beforehand. So those are the friendly special forces troops on their way, so we've done a lot of damage, but we can still help these guys. There's still a lot of targets up there. Excellent shot. We need to destroy the whole group. Can't see the target. Another one bites the dust. A little bit of gallows humour, I guess, there. By the way, I head in. As I'm heading in, I do suddenly Slaving. start taking fire. And so, nice thing about the head-mounted uh, gun controller is you can just look at what you want to do. That's very, very satisfying. They are your target. Use the hydras. Got it. The trucks in the trees. Proceeding to eliminate. So a little bit weird there that my CPG suggests using the rockets to take out all of the APCs at first, and now I get the order Blazer to use on. the rockets to take out all of the trucks. Blazer's and uh, I've already used up all of my rockets, so I decide that using my gun is the next best thing. Don't really know what trees is being Blazer talked on. about. I only have the uh, IR here, and trees don't really glow hot. Uh, but I assume that by trucks he's talking about the giant pile of trucks in the compounds, so start spraying as well. Do you then start taking fire from the Humvees off to the side, apparently they Laser are occupied. On. And so spray a few bullets over there, get a nice fire, unfortunately I've realised I've got a nice fire on a civilian bus, but I'm assuming that's empty. Uh, that missile warning I think was just my wingman firing. The trucks are destroyed, Commander. Excellent. That seems I guessed right, because those trucks that I hit do seem to have completed the mission as far as my CPG is concerned. And I was thinking of just pulling back at this point, conserving my ammo for anything else, but my wingman was taking some ground fire, so I swing back in. CPG spots a Humvee, so head in and start firing bullets into that lot. And nicely do get a fire in the end. As I go by, I just spray the last few rounds, taking out some random bloke who is shooting at me, spraying towards the other Humvee, but I do miss it, put a few more rounds into a bus. 3 the infantry is suppressed and the transport is destroyed. Target's taken. Proceeding. Over. Cease. Fire. 
Well, for some reason the player character decides that he and he alone is going to take on this group of infantry, which isn't great because so I only have 17 rounds left, and I don't get any hits with those 17 rounds. I do get weird conflicting orders there to take out the infantry group and to cease fire and stand by, so I don't know what to do. Um, but decide just for the hell of it to pursue this little infantry group here. Problem is that I'm pretty much out of everything and unfortunately the only weapons I've got left are hellfires but they're the radar hellfires. And my CPG doesn't exactly have the best luck at trying to get a lock on a soft squishy infantryman. However, randomly for some reason it does occasionally Engaging. let me order him to fire, and so fire I do. And a near miss, get some splash damage, but nothing much else. After several Blazer more attempts, top. I do Engaging. manage to get him to engage one more time. And this time get a bunch of kills. Blazer so on. there we go, definitely didn't hit the centre of the group, but hit close enough to take out a whole bunch of them. And so I'm calling that a win. It's not quite the entire group gone, but it's enough of them, and I am getting tired of taking small arms fire, so I just decided to uh, leave that there and go find where my wingman is orbiting and wait for the mission to proceed. That's it. The infantry is down, Commander. Excellent work. And apparently that was enough to count as complete. 3-1. 3-2, our work is done. 3-2, return to formation and await further instructions. Roger that, returning to formation. I've saved all groups. The operation is finished, our TV. First group, returning to base. Cyber group, copy. Commander, what do you think of our work? My assessment is you're good to go, Captain. You are ready for war. Thanks. I didn't even know if we should be happy or not. Well, you can be happy for now. We're not at war with Iran and the whole Red Coalition just yet. Well, until our friend Obeid is in the rear seat, anyway. Easy, Riley. Salah is my friend and brother. I hope you say that with regret. Relax, it was just a joke. You hurt my dignity, Major. I will show you my piloting skills during the back qualification. Okay, Lieutenant, now I'm terrified. I hope you don't lose your aircraft so I don't lose my job. Damn much. Take it easy, Zorak. He's just joking to piss you off on purpose. Watch the let it slide, even if it's coming from a foreigner, whoever he is. Yeah, after that RTB, no problem. It instructs me to do a runway landing, so I do what I am told and do a nice little runway landing there. A little bit hard, but it'll do. And yeah, mission complete. Uh, definitely made a mistake there with uh, my use of munitions. Could have been a lot more efficient. I think really in that first opening attack just needed to absolutely ignore what the uh, CPG said and just use Hellfires for the initial engagement, take out all of the APCs and AAA with Hellfires since radar Hellfires can actually get a lock on those. Then yeah, by all means can probably use the rockets to take out the big pile of uh, trucks there. And then that way we'll have plenty more gun ammo to clear up uh, that last little infantry group. Still, it did count as a 100% success, so I am going to take it. Uh, yeah, 
campaign is certainly starting to heat up now. Got all sorts of interesting things going, so looking forward to seeing what else this has in store. Hope you join me for that. Until then, remember to be kind to yourselves and everyone else. Cheers.